Hello friends, my name is Shivam from DevOps Schools and I will help you to enable your learning process in various technologies of DevOps, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data and many more. This is our initiative to help you by sharing multiple tutorials and videos. And if you want any specific tutorials or any particular topic, then please do comment in the below comment section and I will help you with it. Also, please subscribe to our premium services on YouTube which will give you access to more content and videos to enhance your knowledge about all these topics. Also, if you want me to help you with regards to the online trainings and classroom sessions by our qualified trainers, then do please do write me at uh, contact at devopsschool.com. Thank you. See, this one, I tried to do it actually, create the environment VM and Kubernetes. I tried, okay. VM because I want to I don't know how to call this uh, this is uh, resources in the pipeline I don't know how to do I, I, there is no option I think kind of thing I just need your help mm, show me some demo kind of thing is there okay okay show me show me where where what what was the lab this one uh, you told me to create a uh, virtual machine in Kubernetes in Azure pipeline. No, no, See, in the create have... the environment with the VM in the Azure pipeline, no? create the environment with VM and uh, Kubernetes in Azure pipeline, no? you told, no? Okay, okay, okay. That, see, I created the environment, okay. I created in portal, everything I created. But uh, these are the steps for Kubernetes, okay. Uh, I think I tried this one, maybe uh, Virtual machine, I'm able to connect actually. Virtual machine, I'm able to uh, see the resource in the uh, DevOps screen. Okay. okay. The problem is, I want to know how to uh, integrate in the pipeline. Pipeline, I don't know, because I created Dev two resources at the development. See, and pipeline, and... see Kubernetes is a container services. Okay. Yeah, correct. Which is yeah. used for deploying the, in the state of, you know, uh, DevOps, we can use the uh, you know container service to deploy the services mm. deploy the build okay that was your i think you understood little bit you know no issues no, no that's why how will uh, in, in, in integrate that environment uh, select the resource because i have tried the, this one there i'm not able to select the resource that's why so for in environment i have sent you one document like no i, I, I don't know because that is that is different uh, actually yeah that is, that is yeah, and Kubernetes do not include Kubernetes here. Remove that Kubernetes in the lab. Okay, Kubernetes deployment is totally different. No, no. Actually, okay, but see, uh, even I, if I try with uh, some... I will, uh, give you, and I will give you that you know, document, okay, for Kubernetes deployment. Okay, do not uh, include in this. Okay. This lab is only creating the environment. Okay. Okay. Because I want to know that uh, how to do that one uh, Kubernetes. Because the, see, how, yeah, I created virtual mm. machine. Is there? As... Mm. No virtual machine. We can uh, deploy. See, we can deploy uh, virtual machine. Tell me how to do that? Just uh, one. Uh, how to uh, thing show? Me. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. See, why not? I'm going to tell you. Oh uh, yeah. You are here to learn, right? And I here yeah. I'm here to <laughs> explain you. Correct. Yeah, don't yeah. worry this so one I did it. this one connection uh, my jenkins in local system okay this one uh, yeah fine fine local also but just i need to understand whether are you manage okay so are you able to in uh, are you able to connect azure devops with jenkins no actually this one i have to uh, if i my uh, laptop url has to be exposed outside Either one thing I can do, uh, I have to create one virtual machine uh, setup, or then I have to do that because I did it in my laptop. Install the thing, uh, able to. Otherwise, I'll try with the virtual machine there. I'll Jenkins and I host it and try to give that number URL. Maybe I, I don't have time. That's why I I tried in my local only. I install the Jenkins. So this is the steps actually. Uh, I'll show you. I think it is there. Local host. Uh, because this this one I have to expose outside no that that's why I okay I found what is the thing okay uh, the, I here in the Azure 
I try to do that. Uh, this is the steps I given. Mm, yeah, this is the steps actually. We have to go to service hooks. Uh, this is correct only, no? Hello? Right, are you there? Yeah, I'm not able to hear your voice. Now, are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, now we're able to. <coughs> Actually, there is, you know, power cut here. Okay. So, due to that reason, I'm connected through my other resource internet okay okay see this one jenkins uh, uh yeah then install the jenkins in your system this is done go down yeah, this is done and this one integrate jenkins the, with azure Devo. this is the one no service yes. create a subscription i'm choosing yeah. the jenkins okay yes. select uh, what okay so provide the Jenkins URL. Okay, this one yes. I didn't. I tried. I installed in my local because that URL has to be uh, exposed outside, no? public only. Maybe I'll try even from the virtual machine. I'll try it and see maybe some other time. Yeah, yeah. You are able to create. Mm. Okay. 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 So this is so. How many labs are pending? That tell me the status. No, labs okay, but this one I need. Uh, that's why Kubernetes. Uh, that's why I asked how to. Yeah, yeah. See, Kubernetes. Not... See, Kubernetes. I... I will give you. Yes. And uh, virtual machine. Uh, at least show me the virtual machine. How to? Um, because I tried with the pipeline. I'm not getting anything. So how to? Just I'm creating the resource. Uh, that's all. Uh, but I'm not able to do the. Um, uh, bring it in the pipeline. I don't have idea on that. You want to bring the what? See, I want to use that virtual machine in the environment I created. No, a link. No, see, I created an environment in VM machine in the portal, Azure portal. Okay, that I have integrated. Okay. I have to integrate it here. No, so in the Azure pipeline. So I created uh, that. How to integrate that one? How show me how, how to use it in the pipeline. Yeah. See, just show me the lab. What exactly the lab question was, and I can you increase the font size? Just no power is here. This is for ah, see, this is. See, this is a development I just created environment. There are the two resources mm -hmm. there. One is a Kubernetes system container and another one is virtual, virtual machine. Okay. Yeah. See, in that, see, I want to use this virtual machine in my pipeline. How to use that one? So I don't know how. That's why. Just select the virtual machine from the system. And another way, okay, another way is deploying the, you know, using the virtual machine into the pipeline is you can use the terraform okay hello uh, uh, hello? Uh. am i audible because i am connected with my mobile internet so yeah yeah, yeah okay so another way is what uh, through terraform okay we can deploy the virtual machine no no i'm asking not for the deployment i'm saying see how to use this this in the uh, devops it has linked with the uh, here how to okay, use okay, here open, 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 open. Okay, open the Azure dev dot Azure dot com. Okay, Jenkins and all this stuff you have already done. So only this uh, is pending. Hello. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Only this is pending. All other labs are completed. Yeah. Click that. 
I removed actually. Okay, uh, because I deleted. Uh, okay, I'll create here. Yeah, yeah, it's good to delete. I'll go to portal. He was staying in Noida or, uh, or Bangalore? He was staying in Hyderabad currently. Okay, okay. Give the code. Yeah, yeah, just I'm opening the email. So now, basically, what I understood from your query, you want to integrate Azure DevOps, especially pipeline, with the virtual machine through that you want to deploy, correct? Yes. Sir. See okay. what. One minute, I create one uh, virtual machine. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So I will send you the steps. Now I got it. And uh, I was thinking you want to deploy the virtual machine code. Now I no, got how to use that. How to use that one virtual machine? Say I that in the environment and the DevOps is showing. Uh, this is their virtual machines, but how to use that one? Yeah, yeah, go there. First, create one virtual machine. Validation failure. Why validation got failure? No, 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 I have to give the password. Say, Arun. Hmm. Hello. Arun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Basically, what you are trying, how we are basically your question is what how to deploy anything into the on uh, virtual machine using Azure DevOps, right? Yes, in that uh, in the environment what I created now. Yes, environment. So there is in in environment there is another way. There is one more you know a DevOps starter. Okay. Okay. There is a services provided in Azure. With that we can deploy it. That is a part of advanced uh, Azure DevOps. I will send you the stepwise document with the screenshot. Okay. 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 This is not the way first while creating itself. We have to start the DevOps started is one of the services offered by Azure only. Go to the portal then I will show you. One minute, one minute. I'll just, uh, it's almost a completed test. Okay. Shall we? Sometimes I will be available in Hyderabad. Sometimes I will be available in Bangalore. Oh, okay, okay. But nowadays the COVID cases are very, it's you know pathetic. There is another very easy way to deploy. App into your virtual machine. See one more thing, Arun. There are multiple yeah. ways to deploy anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you need to understand which one is easier and which one is faster and which will save the cost. Hmm. Correct. We have enough hmm. discussion on that. So main thing is what we need to discuss about the budget, timelines. Correct. Hmm.
it will, you need to register the agent then it will maybe it will ask uh, for free account how many agent it will allow you all this stuff so let it be it continue just show me other stuff like uh, okay, one only this is, this is pen okay okay done Azure pipelines done. Ah, uh, yeah, it is come. See, now this one I have to use to for deployment. So how to do that one? That's why yeah. this is. A, uh, you you want to use this virtual machine, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. In, in portal dot. In portal dot dot com. Okay. Uh, there is a service. It is known as and known as DevOps Starter. Go to portal dot azure dot com. Open okay. one more. Here, right? this one. Yes, yes, this. Go to home okay, search then. DevOps starter. Second option. With the DevOps starter, you need to configure your virtual machine. Okay, then you mm -hmm. are able to use that. So those steps I will send you. Okay. okay. There's so this is for what purpose? For what purpose? This is a to use the virtual machine. This DevOps starter for deploying any app into the virtual machine. Okay. Suppose there, if you have a .NET app, if you have a Java app, you have a PHP, anything you want to deploy into the virtual machine, how you will okay. deploy? There is one services offered earlier. We need to you know create the pipelines and all this stuff, right? Now they are uh, giving the direct service that is DevOps starter. Okay. Okay. So you will configure your virtual machine with the DevOps starter and you will deploy directly. Okay. okay. No need to create, uh, create so many stuffs. This is the mm -hmm. smarter. So these uh, just write down DevOps starter, otherwise, you will forget in the lab. This service is important. It will save your time also. What to do? What to write? Uh, in the open the notepad. Where is yeah. that? Deploy any app. Deploy just uh, ASP first one. Go to the portal. Just let me check. Dot net, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go go there. Deploy ASP dot net app. to Azure virtual machine by using Azure DevOps starter. Okay, so in that CI automatically CI and all this will call CI and CD with these services. Okay. Okay, so okay. I will send you this. So with that, see, I will send you one. You will uh, you know uh, practice for Node.js means what? JavaScript. PHP means yes. which? So you will practice for other. There are so many services are there, right? Yeah. So until now, Java, you can Node.js, JavaScript also you can try. Okay, static website. See, we are deploying some of the website also into the virtual machine, right? Mm. Hosting, hosting. Yes. Hosting, you know? Yeah. So that is what a static website. You can create for two, five, or two or three pages of HTML, or you can download from the Google any HTML files that is static file, uh, static website, and then you can deploy with this. Mm. That that is hosting, okay? Okay. Hosting is basically what you are doing in hosting. You are deploying your code into the production, correct? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that is the use. Uh, uh, that is what job of what. That is the job of DevOps only, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. I will send you this step for ASP.NET. Rest of the things you can, uh, you know, the rest of the things you can just so, try in the same. So how will see how that uh, from the Azure DevOps how it will call here this one create DevOps starter means. See, whenever you are going to first, you need to, okay, uh, 
you you uh, you should have the you know pre requisites for this lab is visual studio dev essential okay mm. you need to install that after mm. that you know you need to go to the portal and first you need to uh, uh, search for devops starter just now we have searched right then mm. there is a, you can see the right hand uh, left hand side there is a plus new button right yeah select so there is a dot net right select that dot net then after selecting in i uh, know there is what uh, application framework right hmm say so, uh, dot dot core or uh, you can select oh. anything first one sp dot net selected hmm then next right after selection that hmm. windows, windows wave app or oh, okay select you have selected that okay virtual mm. then you need to authorized mm. okay give the password i don't know which account I will send you the steps, okay, uh, with the step wise. Unnecessary, it will charge you right now. Similar fashion, you will do in that. Okay, Arun. let's okay. Uh, let's discuss other uh, stuff. I need to finish. Delete this one. Unnecessary, yeah. it will charge you. Resource group itself, delete. And you see, empty resource group will also charge you. Which one? Empty resource group. Suppose you have okay. created any resource this group. This one they won't charge, no? Network watcher? Mm, yeah, yeah, no, no. That is default. Okay. But VM, these all are just deleted. These all yeah, are no. under uh, RGTS011, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, it will take time come to interview questions and you know labs only this lab is pending i will send you rest of the labs you have uh, done uh, completed right yeah okay great only you are doing the labs all are like i don't know what is what is the Why, issue yes peter not this one you will send the document and for the yes, environment yes. also environment uh, also you same, said same same thing same thing both are okay okay Okay, both the labs right now. I I have just framed the man special kind of both are same only. I will send you. Okay. So only this is pending. Only that labs, right? Rest ops are um, uh, completed. Correct. Yeah. Mm. One more thing, uh, Arun. Let me explain you one thing that is very much important. Whenever suppose any project uh, you know any vp or any you know uh, senior manager is going to ask you to implement the devops in the current project what will be your first step as a devops architect uh, in the what do you mean means uh, uh, suppose i am your senior manager right okay. i am going to tell you impl implement the azure devops in project 1 then what okay. will be your first step? First, I'll find out what are the language they are going to develop the thing, whether it's a open source like a Java or any Python mm. or a thing. Okay. And no, then, no, no, no. Uh, write down, write okay. down. No, first step, do not say like that in the interview. Okay. Write down, open the notepad. And also write down these questions. Uh, these are the practical you know questions basically hmm. correct if you are going to hmm. implement okay so first how to just write down the question how to implement azure devops in new project correct hmm. similar types of question right see they hmm. will uh, frame the question like okay i'm your senior manager 
and i'm going to ask you that you need to you know uh, implement azure devops in the current project mm. correct mm. so first case we write down answer first one understanding the current deployment procedure comma sdlc process and testing process okay right second mm -hmm. question uh, see it is talking about the azure devops it is not talking about only the pipeline try to understand okay 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 right. okay mm -hmm. so do not directly jump to the which language it is used and you know then mm -hmm. it will be you know uh, like the chances of clearing the interview is very less mm. correct you because you have already omitted two of the services yes okay so understanding the current deployment procedure as 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 dlc process and testing process second one okay. finding the gaps between see if it is a required necessary then only you are then only you are going to implement correct yes directly if someone is going to tell you and you have also almost 14 15 years of experience you can't you know believe on their thoughts right mm. correct so finding yes. the gaps between deployment procedures as dlc procedures and testing procedures etc because maybe other procedure like approval process and all this stuff right so many things okay. are there how they are getting the approval gaps between deployment means so what are this gaps mean? can you tell me the some example i just uh, i'll remember for uh, not remember okay, purpose okay, for yeah yeah maybe they will ask you right in that yeah. so gaps is what suppose a development team have developed the applications right okay. how okay. many time how many days or how many uh, how many days it is taking to do or how many hours or what exactly the timing you know how much time it it is taking to deploy into the sit environment and how many days sit or testing team is going to i uh, would take for testing the applications okay how many time is like example duration of the deployment uh, don't write uh, that is for explanation purpose i have no. tell you duration, duration of the deployment, deployment. comma comma no. okay in next line okay duration of testing okay next line next line only 1 2 3 it's better duration of testing and duration of availability of the application in production environment see also use the appropriate word in front of interviewer correct mm -hmm. duration of uh, availability of the production environment no duration of the duration of the app or application oh duration of the application availability of the production okay because you you are designing the application or product right yeah, application yeah. slash product right now application mm -hmm. slash product okay. okay so these are your first step okay now okay. whenever you are going to understand the you know deployment procedure as dlc processor testing processor right then yeah. automatically you will get to know in which language they are developing the application yeah. correct yeah. so no need to say that word as you have a 14 years of experience correct okay try to understand to get our channel membership click on to the join button select the 399 plan and grow your skills immensely understand how to convince the interviewer you are okay. going to pay as a, you are going to you know 
play the role as a manager, senior manager, or VP. Correct. Mm. So mm. don't don't use those three or four, four years of experience. They can say that okay, I'm going to find out in which language they are going to you know um, uh, mm. uh, uh, doing the development or in which language they are going to make the product. Don't say those stuff. Next. Mm. convincing okay. the uh, then uh, no after that designing the devops framework according to the business need of the project see try to use these kind of words hmm then the next question will comes what is business need what do you understand by the business need of the project mm. correct yeah. see it is in your hand how you are going to divert the interview try to understand mm. correct yeah so according to you what is the business need here tell me then i will explain you they saying the business need means uh uh like how frequently deployment will happen uh, based on the business requirement no and uh, that is one of the ca one case we can say that see try to use some particular terminology okay, okay. so business need is what if the business they will ask you what kind of business uh, business need what do you understand by the business you can say that business need is what we have to design the framework according to the requirement that is what sprint timeline we have to define how frequently like we have to use the agile methodology here mm. to fulfill the business need okay. write down the bracket so that you will get a hint and they will also ask you how can you fulfill or how can you you know fulfill the business need you have to say by adopting the agile methodology Okay, so what I have to write business is uh, back bracket. Okay, designing the DevOps framework according to the business need and business yeah. need of the project. Okay, yeah. in the bracket business need in the uh, bracket by adopting the agile methodology because Azure DevOps supports agile methodology. Try to understand. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. fine yeah fourth step so see these things you will net, uh, not get into the google these things you will get from the experience only if you have a experience correct yeah what kind of word you need to use second uh, fourth one designing the devops framework according to the business need by adopting the agile methodology okay by uh, fourth step we'll try to convince the people convince the people slash resource convince the resource who are currently working into the project to adopt same line project to adopt the devops approach approach of development devops approach of development by explaining wait 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 by explaining the advantage of using this framework fine now again the next question interviewer will ask okay what is the advantage of that then you will say the advantage of 
Aju DevOps. That's all. Mm. I have already told you, right? Mm. Getting my point. How to derive yeah. your interview? Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Now, yeah. Getting. So these are yeah, terminology. Yeah. So you are playing in your bucket. Hmm. Getting. Now. Okay. So you have already designed. That's all. And you will say the environment. Now that's all. Four step. That's all. So you have already implemented the DevOps. Mm. Okay. Now inside the framework, they will ask you, okay, how can you design? Then you can explain. And like in Azure board, I will configure the project. I will do the sprint planning, all these stuff, agile methodology. You can explain entire met agile, agile methodology. Okay. Burn up, burn down, all these stuff, status, and all the benefits you can put. Clear? Arun? Arun? Are you able to hear me? Arun, are you able to hear me? Yeah, now able to hear me. As I told you, right, there is no light. Okay, so this is very important approach according to that you will describe. Okay, and okay. Uh, framework means, framework means what will be there in the framework? What we have to de derive that framework? Azure DevOps framework. Oh. Okay, I have already explained. Okay, no shoes. Uh, write down Azure of, um, DevOps framework or Azure DevOps framework. Basically, we are talking about Azure DevOps framework. Okay, so it consists of what? How many services? Five services, right? Mm. Azure board. First, write down Azure board. Just write down one liner. After Azure board, give the space. And write down one liner for that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So for uh, it is used to configuring the entire agile methodology for the project. So it will consist in whenever I'm going to write the agile methodology, it means what? A sprint planning, burn up, burn down, confluence link, everything. Hmm. Correct? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Next will be what? Azure board is connected with Azure uh, test plan. Test plan. Don't you remember? Yeah. And here, do not uh, explain. Uh, we can integrate Azure board with uh, Azure board with Git and all. If it is mm. a project requirement, then only you are going to integrate. Mm. Getting my point? So don't explain yeah. that. Okay. Azure test plan used for testing used for functional and non functional used for functional no no uh, you it is used for functional comma non functional non functional means what performance testing yeah yeah like it just mentioned performance testing Profound testing or how many PT? Are you able to remember PT? Yeah, yeah, yeah PT. Yeah. We regularly use, uh, do that kind of thing. Okay, and automation testing. Okay, next line. Mm -hmm. See one liner. If you will remember, then you can explain. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Next is what? What is the service? Azure repository, right? Mm, yes. Write down. It is used to store the build. Or it is used for version controlling.
right yeah and then they will ask you what is version controlling then you will explain all the history managing all the build histories and all this stuff yeah right yeah. after that azure artifacts azure pipeline then artifacts azure pipeline you have to write tell me okay for just uh, write what is azure one line is for uh, continuous integration and uh, continuous uh, deployment what what azure pipeline is used to for continuous integration and continuous deployment yes continuous integration and continuous see in a simple if you not able to remember continuous integration and continuous deployment try to understand what is the use of pipeline in layman style to supply Connecting the water the, right yeah, supply yeah. the water in layman don't uh, forget about the azure devops yeah yeah the use of pipeline is what mm. supply of water supply for oil right mm. or supply of gas gas pipeline mm. water pipeline right oil pipeline mm. basically the use of pipeline is what to send the things from one place to other place correct yes similarly if we are going to build the pipeline in cloud computing services also the basic use of the pipeline is what to send the build from one place to other place whatever may be the place either it is sit uat production yes okay so in that way you have to explain because today you are going to use azure devops tomorrow maybe you will get some other tool right yeah okay so you your concept should be wrong i uh, uh, your concept should be clear your concept should not be wrong okay fine now okay. what is artifacts tell me what is the use of artifacts artifacts is uh, for storing the uh, jar files or any uh, deployment for war files or anything can store it or any configuration files Use you can for create the package okay i told you right hope you remember yeah yeah because we That's use software. for uh, like a centralized uh, uh, we using jfrog artifactory for centralized uh, like any jar files or anything uh, yeah 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 that that is also stuff. like see for different different you know uh language different different you know uh, artifacts will be come they will come mm. like python maven npm right mm. those are examples in the bracket just mention artifacts example like python npm npm comma npm maven write down 34 non gradle and node js right something was uh, for javascript we used right etc yeah, ms ms build yes etc okay so this is the structure of azure devops framework you can mm. explain in that because see if you are going to explain okay in azure devops we are uh, how to create the you know uh, basically the organizations and uh, creating project they will not ask you because you have a 14 plus year of experience right you need mm. to explain in a very shorter time in a very you know a specific manner mm. correct yeah so terminology which you are going to so these uh, questions also add into the azure interview questions Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. So, how many? Uh, all the questions are uh, clear, or you have any doubt? Uh, 
uh, I completed one. I have a doubt. What do you mean by shared resource in Azure pipeline? Shared resource means uh, uh, that is why I was uh, like uh, any shared means uh, how uh, in the degree I don't know the thing. Shared resource means I just imagining the uh, one resource means like artifacts or anything or uh, how to what is that question? This one I am not able to uh, try to search. I didn't get any exact thing like clarity. What do you mean by shared resource? You know this answer. I have already explained you. Then so then you will understand what is shared resource. It means what we are sharing the one resource into the multiple environment, right? Yeah. Shared resource means some kind of instance only. Mm, yeah. Any virtual machine or anything. Anything. Any you know. Correct? Mm now in pipeline how can we share any resources because uh shared means only the from the uh, version control we used to pull the everything data that after that or uh, how any uh, shared resource means what uh, anything uh, what what so what is this you know shared resource means any setup or anything that that's why i'm asking you setup only now here okay. we are dealing with the setup only one pipeline you have created and uh, and suppose you have created pipeline you I hope you remember <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry see you have created uh, the pipeline for uh, without testing right hope you we have created one yml pipeline right after mm. that we have edited that pipeline and we have added the test uh, steps and then again mm. we have run so that mm. specific pipeline is what shared pipeline right okay for multiple things okay similarly if we want to deploy a resource group mm. so resource group you can uh you know use same resource group in multiple uh instance right mm, yeah see you have created rg test 01 you yes. are using the same rg test 01 for deployment of virtual machine again you are using the same resource group for deployment of yeah azure sql or any database so that is your shared resource or not okay no i'm not getting clear okay uh, let me so you see see wait if you are while deploying uh, while creating the instance in portal okay what mm -hmm. you are going to do you are right you are creating the instance in a two or three ways through powershell also right mm -hmm. So in PowerShell, you are writing the code, right? First, in the same code, you are writing what? Same resource group, which is used in different instance also, right? Mm. Try to understand. So if we want to deploy a virtual machine, okay, with Terraform, try to understand. Okay, mm. then we are using some code, right? To deploy, uh, to create the instance, uh, right? Yeah okay so in uh, in two things in two instance suppose i want to create virtual machine also and database service also or uh, you know uh, virtual network also correct i am using the same resource group okay, okay. to deploying the uh, two instance through terraform any you know code build and all so that is what uh, resource uh, you, are, said, no, so. you are deploying the code only that is a uh, different that's like uh, spinning the uh, virtual machine and creating that is uh, like uh, uh, infrastructure but shared resource means that it's different no uh, that is different the script is uh, that is uh, like code no how they can be say this the script can be a resource no shared resource that is clear leave it that is if you are going to uh, share the same instance into the different different places that is what you uh, know shared resource like suppose okay. the same uh, same instance you are using in 
uh, SIT also and UAT also. Mm. That is shared resource. The same virtual machine or same environment you are using UAT also. But, uh, in, the, in this, uh, how, what is the answer will be there? What do you mean by shared resource means? How? Is there, there is no meaning. That's why I'm asking. Shared resource means. Uh, we are using let me explain you one in a different way git is what in azure pipeline sorry what is git in azure pipeline it's a western control like it uh, it will pull the code pull the code from the git you can just modify the questions you know uh, shared resource uh, just remove the what do you mean by shared resource remove the azure pipeline what do you mean by shared resource that's all yeah Hello. what do you mean by shared resource sir? Huh? yeah yeah huh. then the question will have some meaning now you can explain right what do you mean by shared resource means uh no in the in the devops point of you saying no in azure what do you mean by shared resource in azure that i have to check actually because virtual machine or anything can share it. that's a thing any but uh, Shared resources is what if you are going to share any uh, any resource among the two different environment that is what shared resource or mm, yeah. in a two different environment or, or, or two different project okay or two different uh, verticals mm. that is what shared resource okay okay write down If any instance, write down the answer. There itself. Yeah, if, any insta if any instance yeah. or resource, are you typing? Sorry, I am not able to hear your voice properly. If no, no, I am not able to hear your voice properly. If any instance slash resource. resource are shared between two different environment or project then it is known as shared resource Clear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So 198 is done. Next is. No, actually, given the Azure pipeline, I was thinking how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pipeline. That was the question, was, you know, uh, flow. Maybe I have. Uh, oh, no, my God. You have written very systematic way. And also just now type, uh, to, uh, just now uh, copy paste that, uh, just now you have written in that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Change the font of that. Write down the point wise one, two, three. Uh, yes.
duration of testing by adopting one. Also, just you know, try to make some bullet. So, are you going to uh, go through each and every uh, interview questions in weekend or not? Yeah, because don't now have time. No time because I'm start. I have to start preparing for the this one exams. Then only I'll finally go for the interview. Okay. Because I have okay, to. Okay. Yeah. And, no, yeah. I, so. I, I, yeah. for, I forgot. I want to have one more question. See this uh, for uh, writing this Azure DevOps. Uh, mm -hmm. I have to prepare the first. I have to write the AZ one zero four. Yeah, but yeah, that is the prerequisites. Yes, one zero four. Then admission. Yeah, one zero four. Then only you are eligible for AZ four and DevOps. Okay, one zero four, and I have to write nine hundred also, no? Ah, you can write 900. We will provide the sample paper for all the three exams. No, no. Okay. Uh, no, no. I'm asking you, which one I have to? Uh, 104 is like a mandatory, no? And then I have to yes. write the this one, DevOps. Wow. Thing. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, what may be labs you have done yeah, yeah. that is more, uh, more than enough? The one, yeah, certification yeah. path. Microsoft. Yeah, and also uh, today, I mean, you have some resume constant also, right? So ask. No, today resume, uh, resume. I will uh, because I don't want to do now because I take some time because I have to add some more projects and all that will take time. I later I'll come to you, no problem. I'll after some time I'll send it in your email for verification. Now I don't want to do this thing because okay, I want so to. How to Okay, how to? Uh, no, I got it. What it you are saying? Three pages and all you told me. So I will make it as it is. To do that. I will try to do that. Because okay. See, if all the other persons are available, then it is very tough to you know. Then I have to do all the three resume. Try to understand. Yeah, Correct. Yeah. That is my motive. Okay, no issues. No, no, I don't, you want? No, no, I I'll do it. Uh, uh, thing send me in the mail. Ah, uh, yeah. Because now I'm not doing considering and resume. Resume is last only because. Once I do the this Exam certification, that. yeah, as you certifications path. Why directly I'm telling you, no? Why you are going there? No, no, I just way. for verification. Some other because these cases keep on changing, now. Um, I'm telling you, right? I I'm OM City man. Directly uh, open the Google. Okay. Open the Google. I will tell you. I have already cleared all this certification. Type AJ one zero four. Scroll up. Oh, sorry. Is that one zero four? Yeah, click that first one. Go there. Scroll down. Okay. Okay. See, the cost is one sixty five in USD. Okay. Click there. The schedule with Pearson view first one. Yeah. What about this click one that. for jobs affected by COVID? Means uh, they are giving fifteen dollars. Eh? No, no. If so, yeah. If someone doesn't have the job, then but wait, wait, wait. They will verify, man. Okay. Ah, okay. And uh, if you will, uh, you know, if your data is wrong, then they will cancel the, uh, you know, batches. If you have clear also, and they are going to blacklist you. So don't do those stuff. Okay. Okay. Ah. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Yeah. Scroll up. Click on uh, schedule with Pearson view. Yeah, this I know that actually. Uh, this uh, which center you have to check find out. That I know. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 399 plan, and grow your skills immensely.
you need to uh, fill all these names yeah yeah okay mr uh title just mr no no i i'll do it later not an issue that is not an issue just so i am asking oh yeah 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 so i will give you the sample paper we will send you after completion so shall i officially wind up today and whatever yeah. if you have i will send you the document also and just ask bit to to send the sample paper okay because that is not my job sample uh, paper for age at 900 see you are going to give the exam or not that is different things but you need to collect the document right uh, correct so that's okay. the reason i'm telling you so oh, just ask bit to to give the document for age at 900 that is sample paper but okay one day we have class for one day we have class no monday okay you want one more class oh uh, yeah okay um i will manage on monday okay okay i thought i need okay. to complete today itself and i will send you all the documents which like deploying your sp.net and all no, this no no okay. just send me the documents i'll try to do it if anything uh, i'm facing issue then i'll uh yes, ask my you. whenever whatever you know uh, document i am sending you that is a step wise it is fully clear anyone can see right okay also i have sent you some other and these things so, uh, 206 and 207s are very important oh uh, yeah okay yeah. ron yeah so try to remember and also uh, as i told you right just do one crash course for testing and agile mm okay then you we, we because see you, currently what is your designation don't mind Uh, no actually i am i am into infrastructure only my designation is different actually uh, like administrator kind of only uh, okay administrator so there so must you... be some so play the role of you know managers and all mm -hmm. target that because administrator you have a 14 years of experience you must deserve you know that is what at least manager here mm. correct mm. less than that so due to that mm. region, you should have the knowledge on each and area each and every area now mm. each and everything is what all the projects all the everything they are adopting the agile methodology mm whether you are devops in devops also they have been in no actually one, one more question if i do agile thing is there any certificate because in this region they required certification only which certification is best because there are many certifications there for agile thing yeah uh, yeah that's see, why see for you uh CSM will be fine because don't not waste for money on safe agile and all it will cost you fifty thousand. Okay. Okay. On safe agile and all, CSM okay. will cost you for giving the an exam. It will cost you sixteen seventeen thousand, not more than that. What is that CSM means? Uh, certified in A Scrum Master. Oh, okay. Certified in Scrum Master. Okay. Okay. So okay. you will get to know. I uh, only that is more than enough. uh safe agile is what basically safe agile is what you are implementing in a scrum within the scrum getting my mm -hmm. point if the okay. some project is so big they have 500 plus member mm -hmm. or 1000 plus member right mm -hmm. so they mm -hmm. cannot do the you know uh, each and every and uh, management wants report for each and every team right Mm. they will split into so basically a scrum within the scrum that is what one member of the scrum one is going to report the scrum two mm. so I uh, in my I, i am the one of the scrum master so i'll report to one of the scrum master in the yes. uh, my league. in above hierarchy okay okay that mm. is a uh, safe agile it is not required for you Mm. that is the person who is who wants to build career into agile only mm. that is only you don't go for agile because we don't know which methodology will you know after 5 years or 10 years again new methodology will come right mm. we never knows so better mm. do some kind of right now you are in very good path that is devops devops with csm okay and also with testing knowledge 
okay at least terminology what is performance testing what is sanity testing what is the smoke testing what is the difference between smoke and sanity what are the standards offered by stqb so that we can implement in devops also like in test plan you can suggest as a manager right mm. devops architect so those mm. testing strategy although those things is done by tester only but you yeah. you should have the fair idea if someone is reporting you because as a project manager developer is also going to report you tester is also going to report you and deployment team is also going to report you correct mm. correct so those yeah. stuff you should know so only you know just whenever only the basics of and also no need to do the i can tell you a csm you just, you should have the knowledge that is more than enough here do not waste you know money on all the certificates it is not required See, mm. I am doing no, yeah. certification because my organization is giving mm. up to three lakh certification. I can every year I can do. Mm -hmm. Do you have that facility? No, right? No, no. Who will mm. spend? Even if my organization is not going to give, I will not. I am not going to do. Mm. Correct. So don't waste your money. Just try to understand the concept later. After six months, eight months, if you want to give you can give okay if it is required if it is required someone is asking you to do the certification in your organization then you can do it mm. okay right now only if you have the you know the knowledge itself uh, agile and especially csm no actually okay. what i'm what i'm asking is you see in this region and all if you say put all mm. the last the first thing is Certified, you are certified. The first question they'll ask. It. So even whatever maybe you have a knowledge purpose or anything in India, it is okay because if they interview there. But here, okay, if you have a set as a Scrum Master, okay, then you have a certified Scrum Master, then they they'll consider. But this is the one of the then main then, then 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 give it. I will then CSM. Then you know, then I will mm -hmm. uh, whenever you feel that okay, I need training on CSM and all, I will give you. Mm -hmm. I'm CSM certified also. Okay. I will give you the sample paper also. You get directly you can approach, okay, and directly you can book into. Then nowadays from the home itself you can give the exam mm -hmm. due to COVID. This mm -hmm. uh, Azure exam also you can give from the home only. No need to go any kind of centers. Mm -hmm. No, here they are allowing uh, uh, centers are open here in. Yeah, Dubai. centers are open, but uh, give exam from home only, no. Uh, what is okay. the requirement of going the see don't take any kind of risk in covid mm -hmm. we never okay. knows right where i am mm -hmm. we are going to sit where we have to right mm -hmm. okay so i will send you tomorrow and today please send me the all the interview questions interview questions are completed from your side right and mm -hmm. also only the two labs that i will give, send you the uh, solutions one or okay. two labs i don't know send me that lab document also Okay. So okay, I will okay. And Monday okay. ask bit two to send you all the details, like for all the and delete all these projects also. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Best, uh, uh, till the uh, till the things I'll keep it. Once you send the solutions, I'll try to work it out. I'll delete it, not an issue. Okay, okay. I will send you the solutions. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Fine. And I'm it fine. was nice journey for you, especially Arun you because i have seen the dedication you have you are asking beyond your thinking beyond the you know box that's yeah. the reason i always you know suggested uh, you know avilas also please try to think what kind of question arun is come up with that and mm. you have very you know especially frankly speaking you have very good eager to learn new things if any kind of challenges will occur how to give the solution for that good mm. And also, as you are working in infrastructure, you have also the patience, because one day we have tried, right, creating the pipelines and all. Hope yeah, if some yeah. other, I have seen so many, you know, uh, students. Oh no, it is not. Uh, uh, I am not able to do and all this. Leave it. We will do tomorrow and day after tomorrow like that. Correct. Mm -hmm. But you, you haven't seen. Uh, no, you haven't showcased that kind of attitude. Okay, I will do tomorrow day after tomorrow. No. You have created then and there the so those stuff please keep with you okay thank you thank okay. you most okay. uh, so best wishes from and uh, you know from my yeah, side keep and in let's touch. say we will keep in touch
yeah yeah sure yeah, sure face. i will keep in touch and if you will face any issues okay mm. if suppose you will get any project and you are you are going to implement azure devops maybe mm. you will forget some concept and how to implement how to start and all you have mm. my mail id anytime mm. you just you just drop an email if it is a urgent mention mm. in the mail subject line itself urgent please reply as soon as possible or contact me as soon as possible Okay. I will give you if it is required. I will give you a call also. Mention your number also. No issues. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I don't. One more thing, Arun. Do not mm -hmm. disclose my number to anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, no, sure, sure, sure. I mean, because I am getting so many calls. I don't want to, you know, entertain so many people's. Because, yeah. but, but your dedication is, to, uh, frankly speaking, your dedication towards the labs and all, it is fully impressed me. Okay. Good. No, actually, I uh, work. Like this only because I never, uh, because from day one I because I'm spending from my packet so I want to very even when I doing AWS also I was trying to do all things learning all everything implement all all the labs. This See, is documentation. What... Yeah, yeah. What happened? Hello. Your voice is breaking. Hello, Arun. Sorry, Rohit, are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. Now I can able to hear. Ah, uh, actually, no. This is uh, because my organization. They when they do the POC, I used to document the things. After three four months, they'll say. Uh, implement that uh, product they'll say so in that case i have to go on each and every steps uh, i have no need to forget just i'll follow the steps immediately i'll give the environment uh, this is what I, I used to do with it so that's why i even i used to struggle a lot that's uh, yeah, the main thing see. yeah and in your batch there are a few members are also i don't want to take the name and you can see the how they are doing and how mm. you are doing instructors are uh, is same right only Rohit is going to give all the instruction to all of them, right? Mm. Getting? You will see the difference. Mm. So these kind of difference you will see in the interview also. Mm. And you can see that. Uh, uh, even after, uh, I attend uh, yeah. this one last year before the year, I think. Yeah, I attend uh, uh, Amazon, but I didn't go through that. <laughs> anyway, I, I whatever they asked, some one, two, three questions I didn't well, but. Uh, because of the tension uh, that uh, interview tension i didn't go through well otherwise i would have uh, uh, got it but now okay that's why i want to try with the uh, azure thing let's uh, we, because in my in my organization they're going to bring azure devops so one of the project requirement so that's why i want to do this uh, thing I, then it's a this is the right time if i have that multiple uh, things it's very good for me to um, uh, career wise also so I, I can either both it's thing if I get any IT services companies uh, thing it's good for sure me. see if anything it is required if you need any kind of help hmm. in career also please drop me an email okay sure sure okay. sure I will help um, as I told right I'm working as a VP in one of the MNC US based MNC okay okay sure okay okay, okay. especially in Thanks, India you. not in your level uh, or okay. not in your country okay okay no problem okay no. thanks guys thanks. Ah, thank Bye. you i just uh, uh you just send me send the document me. i'll try to uh, yeah. work it out okay please first send me both the documents uh, interview questions and lab documents so that i will understand okay. which all labs are pending okay. then i will prepare and then i will send you the only thing is that what i asked you know uh, that uh, Environment, how the virtual mission will be. Yeah, send uh, me uh, that. That lab is pending, right? In your document. Send oh, me that yeah. document. Both the documents, oh. interview questions and lab. Uh, uh, what I'll put, I'll put put the interview questions that is better in the in the uh, uh, in the subject. Uh, I'll attach a document. I'll mention this question number in the subject. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But uh, send both the documents. Yeah, yeah. Lab document both. also. And Please enroll our general membership for. 399 plan to get access of all the parts along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible jenkins terraform splunk aws azure and various other devops related premium tutorials with our channel membership 
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.